<laughs> Hi, it's Rob here from Bay Marine Electronics. Today we're out here at Southeast Bay on the magnificent Mare Island. We're going to go out with a TM265 LH Chirp 1 kilowatt transducer and see how it works on the new 7400 series from Garmin. We're up on the flybridge of the Great Launch Volunteer, which we're using for our testing today. And it has been a spectacular day. Literally glassy conditions. Not too bad for the middle of winter. Okay, as you can see, we've reached 800 meters. Uh, we've currently got the transom mount TM265 LH 1 kilowatt chirp transducer hooked up to our Garmin GPS map 7410. Um, this is obviously a temporary installation. We're currently on a launch and we've just temporarily put the transom mount transducer on the, on the boat. Uh, normally we would be going with a bronze transducer because it's got a nice bearing block which comes with it and more importantly we can mount it further away from the back of the boat which is the most turbulent place. So although we're getting an outstanding performance picture with uh, the transom mount transducer we would still expect a slightly better performance out of the bronze one. If your budget doesn't quite allow for one of the larger touchscreen models you can still get the depth performance that we're dealing with out here out of one of the 5 inch models as well. So here we've got a Garmin GPS map 557XS which is a unit which costs less than $1,000 hooked up to that same MR TM265 LH 1 kilowatt chirp transducer and you can see we're getting a really good bottom 850 meters probably looking over a thousand meters to see the bottom with this setup as well um, so to get those knolls out by Mare Island that kind of deeper water it's a really economical way of doing so so one feature you'll notice that we have been using today is the shift function uh, this takes the number of uh, depth points uh, for lack of a better term uh, and actually focuses it to a narrow depth range which we're interested in so at the moment we've got the range set to 800 meters, sorry, set to 1,038 meters, and we're currently in 833 meters. Um, if we're only interested in the last, say, 400 meters or so, then we can focus all of those, uh, the, the points which make up that, that uh, 800 meters into a much more condensed space. So to do that, you hit menu, sonar setup, advanced, and shift. And from there we can set that down to say 400 meters or so and then we get a much finer picture over the area that we're interested in. It's very similar to zoom in that we're looking at a, a smaller area but the shift actually allows those depth points to be more smaller so more precise in, in what we're looking at. So we're on our way back uh, to Mare Island from out where we're out in the deep water. Saw some interesting fish sign on the sounder and decided to check it out. Graham's dropping the line down now, and hopefully shortly we'll have something interesting on the other end of it. So this is what it's all about. We saw that fish sign, wow, oh no wonder it's difficult to pull up. <laughs> saw that fish sign on the sounder, and this is what it is. Derricky from 200 meters. Fell, fell hooked. <laughs> So we're hooked up again, number three for the day. Uh, we're pretty happy, this is all off the one spot that we saw on the sounder. And I can feel from the weight of this one, it's gonna be a bit bigger than the other two. <coughs> oh, that or it's bell hooked like the first one. Arr. So here's the final haul for the day. Probably enough to feed Graham and I and a couple of friends as well. 